New at five, we're hearing from the daughter of a woman killed by a railroad spike. Yet the man wound up on death row for killing her, but he is now out of jail and out of prison. He is going to get a new trial. I'm James Brown. I'm Cheryl McHenry. After nearly 30 years, David Lee Myers had his conviction overturned and a judge let him go without bond. News Center 7 has followed this case for decades. And Mike Campbell joins us live from Greene County. Mike, this case brings up decades of emotion for Amanda Mayer's daughter. Well, that's exactly right, James. It's hard to imagine the swirl of emotions for a woman that lost her mother when she was just eight months old. She never really knew that mother, but the one thing that always anchored her was knowing that the man that was arrested and convicted of the crime inside this courthouse was in prison. Now, Sarah Sparkman must face that David Lee Myers is not only not in prison, he's not in jail, he's free in the community. I try to say I prepare myself. I, I wasn't pr prepared for that. It seems unreal. Sarah Sparkman knew Judge Jonathan Hine had already overturned David Lee Myers' aggravated murder conviction and ordered that he be retried. But she expected that the judge would install a high bond that might hold him in the Greene County Jail while that new trial was scheduled. You know, they took his handcuffs off in the courtroom, and I think that's when it literally hit me. Sparkman read a letter in court as part of the state's request for a $5 million bond. On the other hand, the defense asked that Myers be released on his own recognizance, and the judge agreed, another decision that shocked Sparkman. We don't know this man in society. We don't know him except for being behind bars for, for 36 years. Greene County court officials told me they don't remember a person ever accused of murder in a capital case being released without a monetary bond being paid. Now Sparkman is receiving nightmare texts. You know, 352 of David Lee Myers is out of custody. The judge pointed out Myers had a good disciplinary record in prison since his 1996 conviction. A Greene County jury convicted him of killing 18-year-old Amanda Mayer by driving a railroad spike through her head. The judge said he believed Myers' attorney's claims that his DNA was not at the scene meant he deserved a new trial. The judge took a lot from me yesterday, a, a lot. The only sense of comfort that I've had in this. Back live, the Greene County prosecutor made it clear he did not agree with the judge's decision to grant bail or the decision to overturn the conviction. And in fact, the prosecutor's office is planning to appeal that ruling of overturning David Lee Myers' conviction. Reporting live in Xenia, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. It's a very unusual story, Mike. Thank you.